came out here the other day, and I walked through here, and I just heard shit running oh. everywhere. Yeah, snakes and possums and, and things. Yeah, you know, just things everywhere. Okay, this tire's real iffy, and so is this other back one. Yeah. Uh, Can you see the air? Um, no. No. No, you can't. Like these are still good tires. We just need to air them up. Oh, okay. Uh, it's just been too long since this has been sitting here. Um, Did you move uh, that cow that's back there? The cow? Yeah. The cow. This cow. It was laying right back there. Oh, the cow. I'm going. Where was the cow at? I didn't so see what one. The, you don't got no cows. No. Not yet. Neighbors have cows. You know, you're getting uh, some. I heard. No. So, you want me to get in this, or you want to get in it? I mean, I don't want to, but I will. Uh, well, I don't really want to either. I'll let you. Let's let's look. Oh, uh, there's shit in the seat. <laughs> oh yeah, that's where that rat's been living. Oh man, you gonna breathe it all in and shit? You got a mask? No. I'm glad I'm a camera guy. Oh man. I'll do it. You sure? Yeah. Okay. Um, okay, but hey, what I want what I want you to do though <laughs> is uh, go this way along back behind the shop, and then we're gonna park it right where you know. Yeah, yeah. On the yeah, south side on of the, the shop. On the, on the southeast or southwest corner. To where they can clean it all out right there. They can get the vacuum with just a. Uh, an extension cord out there yeah clean everything out of it and then get everything out lay it all out let's figure out what we got uh and then have them look in i don't know where they're these at. things i don't know who's been in here but they're a mess i know that well eventually everything kind of needs to move its way towards the shop and then yeah. we can get rid of these things yeah like we need to jump really, jeep through one of these <laughs> it wasn't really on my my to-do list to get rid of these or to move all these cars away from here but it'd be nice yeah like i'm getting old man hey and the first thing i do i wake up in the morning i and i look out the windows yeah and all yeah, I, no, I get it ugly motherfuckers it. you know so and i'm sure aaron you know doesn't like it but, yeah but so yeah you know she'll get over it you look out there and see her ugly broncos everywhere i know all right oh shit, it's 305 i gotta go but yes let's go oh there's aaron too you need anything before we get ready to go more time. Uh, hey, go straight pretty good. That way I don't turn and, and, and hit this or, you know. Because, hey, I'm going to be honest with you. I'm going to be paying attention to what's running around my feet and stuff a little bit more than looking at you and where right. we're going. Right. So if I panic and fucking jam the brakes or something, you know, hey, whatever. I will feel it yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, uh, I'm gonna roll this other window down real quick. <laughs> hey, you know what? Go ahead. I'm gonna hop back around here. Tires have sat here so long, they're done. We're gonna have to put new tires on this thing. Ugh, they're just shit everywhere in here. I need to find something to put down. What's this? Oh yeah, way cleaner. <laughs> yeah, this is way cleaner than, than <laughs> what I was gonna sit on, huh? Uh, I gotta find something, man. Oh, you don't want to sit in that seat now? You no. Know, There's a box. Is it the shit? Where's or the, the box? Bother? Uh, it's, uh, it's the poop everywhere. Yeah. I think. Yeah. Is there something in here, like an old shirt or something? Oh, look at this. Oh, yeah. You knew you'd use those for some fun day. Right. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that. I've almost lost that. Oh, three eight. Three eight. Yeah. It's an old, old pen. 
these are the, the brand new uh, Jesus King Ranch floor mats for that truck. Oh yeah, here we go. Oh, it scared me. <laughs> I thought was it? it was it was nothing, man. It was no big deal. <laughs> was it the rat? No. There was some tape that was stuck to that box, oh. and as I got in, it happened to fall off, and I thought it was that rat coming out of there. <sighs> okay. Oh, shit, I really can't see nothing. Let's do this. Break, Mark. <laughs> Hold up. Hey, hold up. Oh, why won't the wheels turn? They did. I just don't want them to come off the wheels. You know what I mean? I don't want the tires to come off the wheels. Should we get the tractor and pick it up? The pump and air them up? I mean, oh, that, no, that was me locking the brakes up. It did that a minute ago. I don't know. The, I, the tires are turned this way. Which way? This way. Not. Or that way, sorry. Yeah. It was no, this way in the mirror. I'm straightening it. <laughs> from, from, from this angle. Yeah. It was this way. Yeah. Man, why well, don't you want them to come off the wheels? Well, because. They're already right ruined, now, right? Yeah, but for right now. Oh, you have to get it in the shop. Yeah. And... That one ain't going to hold air very fast. Uh, it will at a certain spot. I think it was only leaking whenever it was sitting on where it's been sitting this whole time. Oh, yeah. All right, go, Phantom. I'm going to. You gonna watch it come off? Man, hey, if it comes off, so be it, right? That just means we'll change them quicker. Just start getting all the parts out of it. With the eight blade pan? Looks like it. Yeah, eight blade. Is that rare? <laughs> I don't know. It was a thing in the beginning. Oh, so much shit in here, like literal shit. <laughs> so gross. Probably a new strain of Corona in this thing. Oh man, it's probably the cure for it. <laughs> so, for those of you that are new here, uh, we started this project had to be a couple years ago. Um, this is Sean's sister-in-law's, Aaron's brother's wife. This is hers. Had a anemic. I don't, we really don't know. Like a. I don't know, some sort of small, small block. Didn't have no power. So we found this big block just down the road from Sean's old place. Went and bought it, got it set in here, and then we went in PK racing and we haven't had any time to work on it since. So 
it's time to get it going. So we've got a pile of stuff from our, our buddies over at Holly. Uh, we have their retro, it looks like a carburetor, but sets, sets on here and it's fuel injection. That'll go on here. Uh, we've got their flow tech headers. We've got a turbo 350 rebuilt for it. Got the transfer case rebuilt for it. It shouldn't take long to get this thing going. So today, uh, as the boys get here from school, Dalton and Peyton are going to clean this deal out. They're going to vacuum all of the rat fecal matter out of this thing. And uh, we're going to push it inside and start working on this thing to get it running. So she misses it. I guess we've had it for a couple years. No time to work on it. So we're going to we're going to make some time here while we're on break and get this thing running again. What you doing, buddy? Vacuuming this deal out, it's a mess. Like, I didn't get sick. Not really, but, you know. And I don't really want to reach my hand down there. See, that? See all that? I don't really want to reach my hand in there. You might catch the rat. I know. That's nasty. No. Builds an immune system, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, <laughs> uh, fling it everywhere. What? You fling it everywhere. <laughs> Ugh. I need Peyton to hurry up so he can do this. Yeah, I don't know why he didn't wait on him. Take that little blade. Okay, now where's all? The... Oh, I guess it's out. All right. Nah, it's like right there. You gotta get some of that shit out. Oh, that's where it's yeah. right. Yeah. All right. I think we're back in process. You have to turn it yeah. That's nasty, dude. I hate rats. up and makes for good film. Barely sucking still. Yeah, it's already clogged up again. Full of rat shit. What? Full of rat shit. Yeah. So gross. I think you should eat one. No, you couldn't pay me just to do that. There'll be somebody we could. No, oh, you definitely could pay someone. So, there's someone out there that's nasty enough to do that. What? Pay him to eat some piece of, that. of rat shit. How much? Not, not for uh, me. Uh, take you. Oh, it wouldn't take me anything. <laughs> oh, you do it for free? No, no, no. no, no. <laughs> now you're getting words twisted. No, I don't think I could do it. Yeah, I wouldn't. No way. Imagine the views on the video, though. What's 
that? This thing sucks to push. Oh, I'm sure. Who said it sucks to push? I'll probably get in it when you push you. Yeah, how about you get in it and we'll push? Already took about 300 pounds off the front end. Yeah. That thing's heavy. Alright, so what's the plan? So, I'm going to guide you. We're going to try not to hit Sean's F-150. And then we're going to go in here. Yep. You ready? Yeah. Cut it. Hard. Turn a little bit more. Have to cut it. Just a little bit. Turn it that way. No, no, that way, that way, that way. Hold on, hold on, right there. No, he just said for three. thirty bucks. Nah, it's ten bucks a turd for sure. I started at fifty. I thought you started at two hundred. We got one hundred and seventy dollars off the price. Yeah. Thirty bucks. Oh. <laughs> I feel like I don't know if it's a good deal or a bad deal. It's a great deal for us. It's hey, a great deal for me. I'm making money. Hey, you guys put the gum out. No, no, can, no! You gotta spit the gum out. It's kind of like one of those things. Like once you swallow five, if you like in five seconds later, you can put the gum back in. Oh, you gotta savor the turd. Mm, you gotta taste it. Yeah. You uh, gotta tell me what fucking wires and shit tastes like. Be a man. Be a man. Be how do you think? Man. How do you think Dalton grew that beard right there? Yeah. No, you know, I heard. <laughs> I didn't do stuff like that. <laughs> I ain't into that. All right, I guess I'll pick three good turds though. Yeah, the fattest turds. You may, Dalt, maybe you should pick the turds no, out for them. There's all dry ones up here. Oh, they're yeah, all going to be dry. Need to open that Wait, do you want a dry turd or a wet turd? Well, oh, wet for sure. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. You're just complaining like, about dry like turds. Mold. These look like mold. I uh, find unmoldy turds. We don't oh, need you to catch anything out of this. No, he's not. He's a fucking man. <laughs> <laughs> Leave him alone, bro. I'm making the video good. Uh, hey. Making the video good. We're about to be dad. fucking on a private jet tomorrow, hey, dude. Hey, <laughs> there might be some good in here. There might be some good in here. Oh, some gasoline and starter fuel mixed fucking. Good turd? Yes. Right, right, of right off the fuel rail up there is where they're going to be. Oh. Yeah, and you got to dig it out with your hands. Yeah. Dig it out with your teeth. <laughs> oh, no. Those are wet, wet. Yeah, you have Oh, that's, bar that's best. No, nah, I'm not doing that. Hey, it'll go down. I'll get one out. I'll get it'll one go out. down easy. Should we mix like a Bronco turd with a, or not, a K5 turd with the Impala turd? Ah, there's one. No oh. half turds either. I want to see two rounded ends. Oh, that's nasty. <laughs> Those are pretty decent turds. 
Let me see these things. Yeah, those are pretty good turds. That, that one's huge. I think I want to trade that one. <laughs> nah, you, you picked your turds, bro. You got to pick your turds and everything, so. Dude, no these take back. Are big. <laughs> it's a fat ass rat, dude. Let me see those things again. Nasty, bro. <laughs> For 30 bucks? For 30 bucks, that's a steal. I'm, I'm making money off this dude. Quick, <laughs> stop. Who's broke now? He's getting Taco Mayo after this, or Taco Bell, one of the Taco Yeah, I'm going Taco Bell. Yeah, we'll have to wait. There's not enough money in there. I'll get you. I have three good turds right here lined up. For 30 bucks? Yeah. For 30 bucks. You'll eat three of them for 30 bucks? Well, well, I'm talking about one, but now they're going for three, so yeah. yes. There you go. I'll eat this one good one. Nah, That's three turds. That's a big mofo. <laughs> okay, okay. That big one and one. Okay, the big so one. So you can knock it. No, yeah. Don't. Don't. Uh, I dropped the other one. Yeah, don't. Small. <sighs> oh. Have you oh. ever tried them? No. Fuck no. No one does that, Peyton. Just tastes like a chiclet, Just man. Just you. You would know. <laughs> almost got him to eat a rat turd, man. Huh? Almost got him to eat a rat turd. I know. Aaron said no. He, he'd get said really no. sick, yeah. So, a lot of people ask about this car. This is not one of our projects. This is not one of Sean's projects. This is one of our buddy's cars. Uh, it had a bad, it's LS swap with a 480. Uh, the motor had a bent crankshaft in it. Uh, I had a 5.3 laying around, so we swapped it out for him. Well, it had to have been a couple years now, and it's just been sitting here. So we're getting it cleaned up. Uh, there's a few problems with it. It's got Dakota digital gauges in it, and there's some sort of interference on the OBD2 there that causes this thing not to run right whenever they're plugged in. So we're going to get the boys to clean this thing out. We're gonna take it to our detail guy, get it all signed up, and then take it over to the McKees and have them fix whatever's wrong with it. And then Preston, come get this thing. Then you can't do that. Do what? You're gonna bank me drop it. Well, don't drop it. That'd be bad. Yeah, pick it up, hey. You're about to drop it. Or are you about oh, to no, drop it? Go down, go down, go down. No, take that hand off. There you go. Oh my god. Oh, that was terrible. Careful with it. Be gentle. No good. Oh, that's a good rear end. It says no good on it. Well, it is. <laughs> that's from a mower. Yep. Well, we gotta get the rear end, converter, drive shaft. Oh, the rear end? That's gonna be fun. Did I say rear end? Yeah. Oh, I didn't mean to say rear end. We gotta get transmission, converter, drive shaft, uh, transfer case. What's this thing? That's fine. Uh, that, that was old. Uh, no, 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 that's from the Ford. This is the drive shaft. Converter's down there. And then, I think that's it. And then we gotta go inside and pull that that motor. Uh, now this uh, transfer case is the one that sucks. You got my converter in there. You did? Yeah, nice. Put it on, just to make sure it fits out. It's forward. Fudge! Hey, fill one of these bolts. Oh, that one's pretty heavy. Fill that! Dude, I know. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. It's, it's so wild. Alright, this is the one. It's gonna suck! Oh, it's heavy too. Yeah. Ah. Alright. Lift, Lift your legs. knees, not your back. Oh. You gotta get that former. Oh, shoot, go down. Okay, that's like stabbing me. Ready? 
Teamwork makes the dream work, boys. Oh, yeah. Thank you for that. Don't do this. Don't, you definitely don't drop that on your toes. Just let me go down. Just like, I'm good. It took, me, it took me a second to register that he said he was slipping. <laughs> yeah, I said slipping five something. times. And I was like, what? Oh, 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 that means you're about to drop it, huh? Yeah. Is that it? Pull inverted trans drive. I, I, I surely. When y'all just ride the back with it. Surely bolted. that don't want buck. You can right? ride the back. No, I'm filming. Surely that don't want buck, right? Oh. <sighs> can tailgates buckle? I think they can, right? Yeah. Yeah, we might have watched one where it fell like. We gotta go put this in there. The trains is lighter than that. Yeah, I know. Uh, we gotta put that in there, and then start pulling that motor. Uh, I think that's all he said. Drive shaft, transmission, converter, transfer case. I feel like there's something else. Hang on, wait. Is there another drive line in there for the four wheel drive? Huh? Is there another short drive line? It might be with all the other stuff y'all you pulled out yesterday though. I pulled stuff out yesterday? I don't know if you did, I'm just saying it might be with it. There's supposed to be another drive line yeah, that comes is. off that torque converter. Or not torque converter, the transfer case. Uh don't look like there is though. Uh, should be. Like I'm saying, you pulled all that stuff out of that. Wait, what did I pull out? You pulled all that stuff out of that blazer yesterday and put it by the door. Could be with it, I don't know. Oh, uh, I don't think it was. Uh -huh. I don't know it was. Yeah. If they even Dang it. Okay, well, I'm at work, so quick on me, dog. Love you. Is that your mom? No, that's Dakota, man. Oh, that's Dakota? Oh, yeah. Don't talk to call me. You gotta throw in I love you, because she's bad. <laughs> Yeah, man, I don't know. Uh, unless it's behind. If not, we'll probably find it eventually. It's either here or somewhere else. So. No. Sure, I don't know. I don't know, man. Y'all gotta uh, focus on getting the motor out anyway first. Oh, yeah, all we gotta do is put that cherry picker on it and she's ready to go. All the bolts are on it? Yeah, it just, it's just sitting there. <sighs> Now I think we're good to go. Yeah. Ready? I have to figure out how to bring it around that brake booster. Oh and, yeah, we'll get it. And get the old pan over the... We're gonna go up with it, that's what we're gonna do. Might be safer if y'all lowered it down while y'all pushed it. She's working good. Now we get we get a blanket or something under it. And then pop it up, okay? Need to find. Go, what do you think? Need to find a pallet. What do you think? How? Well, a pallet would be better. What's this do? Where y'all putting this? Nothing. 
Oh, the preacher's going back in that. Yeah, y'all putting it all back together. Y'all just. Oh, I thought y'all were putting no. it all uh, no, y'all just connecting the trans and stuff too, and then putting it back in. Oh, we're just connecting the, the trans and stuff. That's too? what I understood. Okay, well we can um, we can just go right here and slowly let it down, and then you know it'd be kind of out of the way, I guess. Yeah, I think it'll line up. Okay, I'm just gonna leave it loose. Set it in here and then... Because we really just need the motor to set on this and we need the transfer case and the transmission to line up. So right. the bottom motor mount, mount to that deal, to this cross member, I, I guess. guess? Yes. Just put a bolt right through here. This whole deal is kind of stupid. Uh, kind of stupid. But I really don't care. Like, it, I'll back this up wherever it goes. And I'll it won't bother me. Won't bother me one bit. Oh, yeah. So, what we need to do, Dalton, Get the motor over here, get the transmission over here, put the converter in it. Uh, Cause you know, man, hey, when you do things right, you don't need to mock them up. Right. You nope. just do it once. Just slam it on. <laughs> uh, we're going to get the cross member out. We'll get all the bolts and everything situated. Uh, transfer case over here, all that. Uh, transfer case, of course, will go in it once we got the motor and, and transmission set. I'm trying to remember, the only thing that sucks is the transfer case is what bolts this thing in. The transmission itself, I don't think has a mount on it. Really? I don't think so. Uh, uh, for real? Uh, I mean, there's a mount right there. Yeah. I don't know though. I thought the transfer case just hung off the back. But I also don't know nothing about this little shit. So, we don't have a cross member. Yeah, that's it right there, right? Yeah, that's the transfer case cross member. No. Oh. Is it? Yeah. yeah. It'll be easier once we get them all over here together. But look at this. See that? That right there, and then see this? Boom, boom, that bolts to the back of the transmission. Then, this, that does this. Oh no, see we need another one like this. Hmm. Is it in that box right there? <laughs> I don't know, but we better have it. No. Is it not in the K5? Is that that eight blade fan right there, huh? Yep. Huh. Is that eight blade or is it seven? <laughs> Remember, there was a nine. I thought it was a nine. I don't know, let me look. Oh yeah, that's a nine. It's a sure. nine. That thing's worthless. Yep. Probably won't even keep this thing cool. Move too much air. Yep. You know what we do have an eight blade? See, this was the problem, is that I knew that this cross member had way too much of this shit on it. I'm not 100% sure where it is. I mean, we'll figure it out, but... Yeah. Because you know, you got no other option. You gotta figure it out. Figure it out. Yeah. Hey, yeah, no, that's not gonna work. You gotta get the big dog. And probably spray some on it, you know? Yeah. You know what I'm talking um, about with the little trick. I do. Band. Yeah, the little one. Yeah. The, the yes. folds up. Yeah. Yes. We for sure need it. We can put it right over here with these other ones. Or it can sit on the bench top. Yeah. Um, I mean, we still need a lot of stuff. Oh, for sure. It's just we haven't done anything, and I I need to get this done. But 
yeah, no, it would be nice to take some time and finish 100% getting the shop where we want it. Got banners hung up. I know. The wind's going to blow them up just like that one. Huh? Yeah, that one for sure. It's real lively. Yeah, I saw, I saw the picture you posted. Looks good. We almost got that one straight. The be cool. Yeah, oh, almost. Yeah. He's asking me, he's like, he's like, it's straight. I was like, down, down, yeah. down, and then. That looks great. What's crazy though is an inch below all those bolts that you, those new bolts, screws that you put in, you could have pulled out and then just put it in there. <laughs> That's what I was thinking when you were doing these ones over here. I, I see why you did this over here. You put them on the trim. Yeah. I understand that. But I don't know if you just understand. <laughs> the only thing that I, I wasn't here for, and I'm, I'm just going to throw this out there, yeah. and it may not be a deal breaker, but, but it might be. Uh -huh. Uh, you realize it's still got to put the trim up there, right? Yeah, I know it'll go over. It will? Yeah, it'll hide all those bolts up top. Okay, all right. Thought about it, thinker. Yeah, <laughs> until, until we pull one of them <laughs> banners down, uh -huh. you know, because we piss those people off and then they don't want to deal with me oh, anymore. Oh, yeah, yeah. And then I'm going to go, well, you know, no, then it'll be a problem. <laughs> um, I'm trying to think. Yeah. I am excited though. I used the bathroom for the first time. I, I think your dude wipes were in there. Well, I, no, I didn't. The film crew was all here yesterday. Uh, and there was a couple girls here. I'm not going to say any names. Yeah. But her name rhymes with Wren. Yeah. Him. Uh, <laughs> uh, was like, do you got a bathroom? I was like, we do. We yeah. do have a bathroom. I haven't used it yet, but you can go use it. Yeah. And she goes in there and she came back out and she was going well, there's no toilet paper, there's no, and I went, oh yeah, I know you're a girl, so I yeah. didn't think about that. I mean, you asked if there was a bathroom. Yes, and there is. You didn't ask if you could use the bathroom. Yeah. And, and I had you everything, more specific. you know, that, that you need to use the bathroom. Yep. So, Aaron brought that stuff out. So, I mean, what we got going on here is not hard. So basically, guys, this big block is not uh, bolting up exactly this, the way that we wanted this it is to. a 454 right yes yes 454 big block is not bolting up exactly the way that we wanted to but with this cross member right here we can move this cross member forward backwards what we really care about we don't care where the motor bolts up uh if we have to pull the, the fan off of it and put uh electric fans on it so be it it is what it is so i'm not worried about moving the motor forward uh, the one thing that really matters is getting the transmission right where it needs to go because then our brand new drive shafts uh, That we just got back No nope, dynamic drive line from dynamic will work back uh, Our cross members will all work back back there uh, Our shift and linkages will all work back. We're not trying to, to, to reinvent the wheel here We're trying to put the turbo 350 where it goes in here mm -hmm and the transfer case where it goes the motor it can kind of go anywhere so that's kind of where we're at with it and then uh, this the one moves on it, man, electric fans on it. it moves two inches which this is this is this is a lot mm -hmm. this is probably two inches i don't know what this is so what we'll do is we'll leave this loose enough that we can slide it until it's where it needs to be we'll pull the whole motor and transmission out once we know the transfer case and transmission bolt into the correct, you know, original spots. And then we'll drill either new holes or we'll put it in these holes wherever it fits. And boom, get it out of here. And, and after that, honestly, it's hooking a bunch of stuff up. Yes. It's nothing hard. There's nothing custom about this. There's nothing, you know, I mean, it's, you know, we've got, it's the, put Holly, the, motor back in. We've got the Holly sniper for it and it's, honestly pretty much plug and play like you give it power and ground and hook a fuel line to it yeah and, and if you guys remember we don't ran this this big block yeah I remember it up on the engine stairs, you know you know you get it no it's still not coming i didn't want the big dog no there's not a size that fits it like one of those 12 points all you have is a six point eh, better looking family's box uh i have 12 points uh they no they're in there they're in there right phantom yes uh, here, let me let me help you move this hood. We can put the hood back on 55. What size do you need, dog? Five inches. Five inches, yeah. Here you go. There you go. We don't have to move it much. At some point, we should get the the big block or the 55 out. 
Uh, whenever I think of big block, I think of the 55. Yeah, it's just always been a big block. Uh, hopefully we'll have the wagon back here pretty quick. So just a little minor adjustments here, drilling some holes for the uh, cross member for the motor mounts. Then we'll get this deal bolted in and get the Holly Sniper set on it right and start wiring. That's right. Mission bolted in, motor uh, is pretty much bolted in. We're, you know, we had to move some things. Yeah. So uh, none of this just bolted right up no. just, just to let everybody know so and, and we didn't expect it just to bolt right up but damn we expect it to be a little more yeah. fit in there than that like this isn't the first thing that we've ls swapped no this isn't the first <laughs> what yeah that's a big block yeah it is a big block so we started thinking about it. I've had, what, two years to think about this, Bill? <laughs> Every day, whenever I look outside, I, I think, man, we gotta get that thing going. Yes. And then I thought, man, I don't wanna have to find headers for that big block. Man, I don't wanna have to worry about the whole pulley, the front pulley system lining up on that thing. Yes. Man, I don't want him to have to work on this thing if something happens to it, you know? So, we did, man, we did the old switcheroo. Uh, LS shit's easy. Yep. LS shit's easy to work on, it's easy to get. Uh, you could go down to any local hardware store and tell them you got a 2001 53 yep. Chevy. Boom, work on it. So, because uh, once this thing is done, I'm not going to see it anymore. It's going up to Denver. Uh, they're going to drive it in the snow, and uh, I need it to be reliable. Yeah. You know, not that the big block couldn't be reliable, but man, it was we going to be a bunch of one-off stuff. It was going to be, stuff, yes, you know? yes. Like we were going to have to cut just to find headers for that. I understand everybody's out there. It's been done. There's big blocks in all kinds of these. Yep. Uh, but I don't care what anybody says, man. That cross member and all that is different than a Chevy truck. Yes. So the K5s are different, uh, and I know it's been done before. But what we did was we just made it up this to the, the factory turbo 350 and a 205 transfer case. So all that shit, shit should still work back. Everything should be fine. Um, get, getting dull there, huh? Yes. Go, go grab you another bit. Need you some spray. Yeah. Nah, I just burned that bit up. <laughs> um, so we just went to Marketplace, found us a 5.3. Yep. You can pick them things up for four or five hundred bucks. Like everywhere. Yeah. Everywhere. So went ahead and uh, put a cam, lifters. Cam, lifters, head Lifter gasket. trays, head gaskets, you know, yep. stuff like that. Put that stuff in it. Yeah. Uh, we called uh, up Holly. We got a set of their hooker manifolds for it. That fit. I mean, right they in. just tuck right in there. Got a got a nice Holly 
dual plane intake manifold. Yeah, for that for that sniper to go yep. on top of. If you guys will remember, we got the Holly sniper for this deal, which is the fuel injection that looks like a carburetor, and uh, it'll go right on there, match up nicely with the dual plane. Didn't even need it. <laughs> like butter. Right? Yeah. Yeah. So we did have to make a few new holes, uh, and we did do everything that I said I didn't want to do on this thing. I moved the transmission, transfer case, everything forward an inch and a half. Yep. Uh, yep. And, and, and the problem was I moved it an inch and a half and there is still this much room to the firewall. This is it. So maybe an inch and a quarter. <laughs> yeah. And then this side's even closer. So uh, now we got sufficient room back here, uh, and nothing that we did moving that. The only thing that, that... oh, watch that wrist. Yeah, this is this. <laughs> so the only thing that that may be a hassle is the shifting linkage, uh, and that's nothing that we can't fabricate. We can make fabricators, something like that. Yeah. Uh, if you think about it, the drive shafts on this thing should work back because they're both they're both uh, solid oh slip shaft. slip joints. Uh, yes, they're, right. they're slip joints. Uh, it's solid on both ends uh, of a K5. So in the middle, it has a slip joint that will move in and out. I don't know how much. I would imagine. Hopefully more than that. <laughs> hopefully, hopefully minimum of two inches. That thing slips. <laughs> Yeah. Because now the, the front drive shaft is going to be an inch and a half shorter and the rear drive shaft is going to be an inch and a half longer. Right. Uh, and that sucks because we already had those made back to factory. Uh, dynamic so, drive line sent us those. Yep. I haven't even opened them up yet. They're still They've in been boxes sitting here for two years. For two years ago, they're still sitting in the boxes over there. Like we, we hollered at Mike and we we're like, hey dude, we need these right now. He was like, bet, send them. So we sent him the stock ones. Like overnighted them, he got them, made the new shafts, overnighted them back to us, and they're still sitting in the box. That's right. That's right. Never even opened them. Never looked at them. Nothing. Never, nothing. Yep. So, but that's how we do things. Yep. So, when Ryan gets this thing, he'll be able to do anything he wants on it. Uh, Ryan is not a mechanic, but he's not a dumbass. No. So, uh -huh. he can work on these. He could have worked on the big block. Oh. But getting things and so, everything's accessible for this. So, here's the deal. Like, I feel like I'm fairly proficient at working on things now, you know what I mean? But I don't know, there's so many different kinds of big blocks, like I don't know the difference. But LS, you can literally take shit from a 6 liter and put it on a 5.3. That's all interchangeable. You know what I mean? So, yeah. So, we don't know anything about this motor either. We just took a gamble that it's a LS, it is a high mileage thing, you know, it's got 150 or so on it. Yep. Uh, Hell, that's just getting I'm not even in. really going to call that high mileage. Yeah. Uh, inside it, though. Real nice. <laughs> it looks like every other junkyard 5.3 that you pull apart, man. Yep. So whenever we get this thing, we do get this thing fired up, we're going to uh, sea foam it, uh, clean it all out real well. Right through. Perfect. Now we'll bolt them in, get, get the tubes <laughs> in the bottom. Call her good. Uh, we'll sea foam it, clean it all up. Uh, the cylinder walls are what is important on that, and they look pretty good. Uh, you even took the, the pan off of it while you was doing that. You put a new oil pump on it, a yep. uh, new timing chain. New timing yeah. chain? Yeah, timing chain. Timing chain. Uh, pump, lifters are gear. really important on that. Uh, yeah. And believe it or not, guys, the oil trays, or the lifter, lifter trays, trays, are very important. We have. We didn't even skimp out on it. No, uh, if you guys remember, we bought new lifter trays for the Wagoneer that we put the six liter in. Yes. Well, we fired that baby up for a couple of fucking minutes. It spun one of the lifters in the brand new lifter tray, but it was an aftermarket one. It wasn't a good one. I, did so, we go down to O'Reilly's and get those? So, no, I, I ordered some good ones from Summit after that deal. But what, what happens is if you ever order brand new lifters and trays and those trays come in and there's any kind of soft at all, if you can squeeze them with your fingertips, just throw them in the trash and go buy some new ones. They're like four bucks a piece, but well, there's some that some people sell that are junk and it will allow that lifter to spin in there and then you're just and that's bumped. what it did. Our lifter spun and it ate the cam up in a hurry and it ate all the lifters up Yes. Uh, on the ones that it spun. Well, there's been like four of them or something. Yeah, yeah like it, it was spun bad. a lot. There was a lot of oil. 
uh, a lot of metal. I was gonna say there's a lot of oil in the metal that yeah. we had. Yeah. Uh, but the lifter trays are real important. Uh, I don't care if you pull them out and they're still holding the lifters. It's always a good idea they're to get new trays. Literally four dollars for new ones. Yeah. So, I mean, we've waited. Hell, we waited on Aiden's motor because it had the long, wrong lifter trays with it. Yep. So sometimes you got to wait on things. Some yep. things are worth waiting for. Yep. Uh, it sucks if you got to wait on something like a lifter tray. Oh no! Hey, it was this motor. It came with DOD lifter trays. Oh, was that, it this one? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yep. The the I lifters. It was no, it cut, the lifters come with trays, and somehow and they, they said DODs. DOD trays. So, <clears throat> anyways, um, it does suck. Hey, it does suck that we pulled the big block out of this thing after we spent money, time, all that stuff on it. But we'll always have the video of us firing that, <laughs> that rig up on the engine stand. And the memories are priceless. Yeah. <clears throat> so, um, you know, lots of things change. I changed my mind a lot in one day. Oh, yeah. Let alone give me two years to look <laughs> at this thing and think about it. Like, yep. I, I changed my mind. I yep. put LS in it. Uh, we're gonna use the factory fan on it. We're not gonna put, we're gonna make this as simple rig as possible. Look at this thing, you know what I mean? We're, we're not We're not gonna get fancy here. We're not gonna put a lot of electronics on it. We're not going to overcomplicate things. Uh, the factory water pump on this motor has a fan on it. I doubt it's an eight blade, but. I mean, probably not. I don't think LS is that fancy. Oh, no, we're not near that good. They're not near that technologically advanced. Oh, is it? It's a fucking it's a eight. Nine. Oh, oh okay. it's a nine. Nine blades are easy to come by. We yeah. got one of them for the big block. Two, four, six, eight, nine. Yeah. yeah. Cut one of them bad there. boys off, man, and cool better. <laughs> yeah. Throw the balance off a little bit. A little bit. bit. Might run a little rough. Uh, probably gonna run rough anyways. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, after that, we're gonna do a few other things to this. Uh, things that I definitely don't want to do but my sister-in-law is gonna be driving this thing I don't want her to get broke down in it I don't want Ryan to have to go get her in it I don't right. want her to be stuck on the side of the road somewhere you know what I mean so we'll probably go ahead and pull all the wheels off and go through all the brakes something is keeping this thing from pushing it's got a little drag to it it's got, it's got a it's it got take, four it takes wheels five full drag. grown men to push this thing yes. across the shop floor. Yes, and it's got four wheels that drag on it. So yeah. uh, then we've got to do things like uh, make different lines to go to this. I want it to have power steering. Uh, but like I said, nothing fancy. I just want it to be dependable for them. And at some point, they're going to holler at me and ask if I still have this. Yeah. Thing, you know? You still got that deal? Can we get it back? Or. So <clears throat> what they're doing right here, the the 68 to the 68 to 72s are different from 73 plus. So the cross member here, look at that. It's just different. We used ICT motor mounts and we're making them work with the factory mounts and the factory cross member. To do that, it's got to be modified. It would have been nice if this was just like a C10 truck, yeah. you know, that has the the smooth cross member in it and, it and it just doesn't you know so it is what it is you ready uh, you guys y'all are not the tallest i've ever seen <laughs> Y'all, this is not the first pick on the basketball court. <laughs> all you right. don't have to hide or the shade pull you. I can ball out, all right? <laughs> all right. I'm going to pick it up. We're going on that shaft, right? I, uh, no, I just put it right here, and then yeah. we'll just Work balance it. it. Yeah. Cool. Unless you guys want to, you know, shove her home. Pretty heavy. Good deal. I mean... What do you think? Is it worth? No. Oh, there we go. Now, can we just balance it? Yeah. Okay, somebody spin that thing. Spin it. If you guys are holding it, I'll spin it.
Are we in a good spot? Like, is it gonna go all the way up there, right there? Okay. Most of it, okay. Hang on, I say drop that other one down just a little bit. Good then. All right, now what? Yep, keep going up. Phantom, you can see over there. I, I really can't. Um, at some point, we're gonna have to lift it off of this deal and go forward anyways. Oh yeah, yeah, let's stop there because it, the, we're at an angle, so this is gonna have to rock uh, back. So, I, so I think we should we almost here? go back up with this one to get it at a better angle so okay. we don't have to right. try to Yeah, we can. Probably would have been easier for you guys to handle. Uh, let's shove her on there. I, I can't see anything, so you guys tell me what I need to do. Back. Go back. Oh, sorry. Yeah, I'll go forward. Yep. Okay. Come on. This, has to, this side has to come down. It's got a twist. Yeah. Twist, 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 twist. Okay. Is it? Where no, it's got to go up. What's got to go that up? Drives, this yoke is hitting that cross member. That side okay, has to go can't, way it up. Okay, it can't then. Why? Uh, because we're hitting the top up here. Oh, then the transmission. Yeah, the transmission has, to, has to come down. All right, Phantom. You guys got yes, it. Yes. The back end has to come down. Now, see if it'll, there it is. Okay. It's just on the shaft. Okay, hang on, hang on. What do we gotta do? Oh, it's gotta twist. Oh yeah, this, no, this has to go up. Yeah, this has to be straight down, right? What? The mount. It's cocked to this yes, side. Yes, yes. Okay, hang on, hang on. The, okay, the drive so shaft goes up What over. the problem is, is this has to come yeah. down. You guys got that? Hang on, hang on. There we go. This has to come. Shit, hold up, hold up. Can you guys hold it for a minute? I know yeah. it sucks. Yeah. You got it? Yeah. Here, you, here, let's put this at a better spot to where you guys don't have so much holding on it. Let me come your way. There. All right. Okay, you should be able to rest it there. You good? Yeah. Okay. Scared to All right, so what the problem is is this has to pull down. See how it bent the frame up here? Look on top. Mm -hmm. Okay, which I can do that with this. You gonna let go of this or keep holding it? Um, I would hold it just because. Now what's gotta happen? Oh, these to Man. Oh well, shit. These bolts go in here. Yes. Huh. That's all we gotta do is find them bolts. Hang on. these bad boys up. That's it, right? Um, yeah. Man, it's out of control. The only problem, man, is it may be a little bit too short now. Yeah? Yeah. Like, I mean, that seems like acceptable engagement to me. Uh, I 
I feel like our guy would uh, disagree with that. Yeah. It's what does not he gonna, know? It's not going to be this far out. It's still going to go in, probably I'd say a quarter inch. Yeah. But, and it's all the way drooped out right now. It's still, it's still, it yeah. used to be an inch longer. Damn. But probably about the inch and a half that we uh, moved the motor forward. Yeah. Just to let you know. And at this point, I don't know if the front one's going to work. It may need to be shortened a little bit. Mm. We could cut it. We're going to tell him, sorry, man. Yeah. No, he can cut it. Yeah. Got it? No. Huh? Probably got a, probably got stuff in it. Yeah, that's why I, I wanted to uh, clean them out. I'll get the. Yeah, yeah. The tab you know, the old reamer. Yeah, it needs it. Okay. This one's. That's good. why. That's why I wanted to do this first. This one's good. The one that the bolt's been in for the last two years. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the one that didn't get no shit in it. Yeah. So, uh, let me see this. Okay. That's the size I need. You got them good eyes? Yeah. I, I'll be over there for 15 minutes going. 